got a massive boat coming in the channel. Good morning, Nub Nation. 7.22 a.m. and the claim is real. I don't know why I'm getting this stoked this morning. There's not really a point in getting stoked because I'm about to drive 12 hours. About to drive 12 hours. It's a beautiful day. Are you coming? Pack your bags. No, this is a, a boys trip. Mackie is indisposed right now because it's the day after the Super Bowl and he said, <laughs> I don't really know if I can make it this time, man. I'm kind of, I don't know. Ryan Mack actually has some family affairs to take care of, so respectable exit from the mission. JP is in the Bahamas. A-frame's at his job. Chank <laughs> Little snowboarding. <laughs> Hob even offered, but he's in Florida. So... Hob offered? Hob was like, dude, I wish I was there. I'm your guy. So I put out... I put out an ISO, yeah. In search of... Oh, yeah. I put out a message on Instagram asking if anyone wanted to go on a trip and come film, and we got some random Grom from Central Jersey Hell named yeah. JT Hell yeah. coming yeah. down. I FaceTimed him yesterday to make sure he wasn't a serial killer, and uh, he told me he's good at drone. I've never seen any of his work. He told me he his can. His photos look good. His photos look good, but he told me he can shoot video. Never saw any of his video work. So we're going in heavy. And me and JT are about to jump in the van, literally drive to South Carolina right now, and... Wait, this is weird. You have Mac, Mackie, JP, JT. This is weird. This is weird. <laughs> That's pretty weird. <laughs> All right, so we're about to get in the van and drive to South Carolina. You know the rest of the story. It's going to be heavy. Woo. Let's go. Weird. All right, here we go. New filmer drives a truck. Let's see. Check him out, guys. Yo. Oh my god, dude, he's in my van just spreading diseases all over the back already. <laughs> Got a problem. I'm on the way to South Carolina, headed to Virginia Beach. Ricky's withholding nines and tens from me, dude. I'm never gonna be able to surf these tankerways without him. Uh, what do you mean he's withholding? He's withholding, dude. He said I have to call you. Uh, because he'll get in trouble if there's no order. What do you mean? I need the biggest board, nine or a ten, anything over an eight. I got no nines for inspection. Yeah, let me see what I can do. Because he has to get in trouble. With who, you? <laughs> All right, we just rolled up to pick up some new boards for tanker surfing. Pretty much the situation is pretty drastic because Ricky has been trying to withhold all day. He's been trying to withhold a 10 and a nine, dude. So we're gonna go in here and see what's going on. Bust up the situation. Look at this, all beef. Fun fact, before anything ever went down, I've been doing this my whole life. Never touched a Wawa door handle in my whole life. Oh my God, dude. Going in. Holy Hannah, dude. Look at this. <laughs> Yo! Not What's going on? So I don't have to wear this? Thank God. How are you? <laughs> what up? Why did you try to withhold all day? Dude, you're... I, had to, I had to go up. We had to go high up in the up chain of, uh, <laughs> Dude, you're withholding these from me hard. <laughs> what is this? That's the blank. That's the blank. All right, this is my nine. Big blue. And you got the hot pink. And then the hot pink 10 footer. Are you kidding me, dude? I don't know, dude. They tried to withhold you. We didn't let them. Yeah, dude. As long as it's a peeler, dude, I'm, I'm on it. Withholding, dude. She got fired. 
Big dogs. Thanks, boys. Woo. All right. We just stopped by, see Ricky Miller, the withholder, and we picked up a 10-footer. Not even sure if we're going to need this thing. And then the 9-foot blue beauty. So we are back on the road to South Carolina. We're about seven and a half hours away, and the dream is real. Woo. Heavy. Yeah, that, man. 13 hours in the car. Look at the Grom, he can't even handle his life. <laughs> and the adventure begins. So, Savannah River is the largest shipping channel on the, one of the largest in the world now. And so, the tankers are gonna come out, and they're gonna come in, and there's these banks on either side, and we're gonna catch them as they come in and as they go out. The first ones we're gonna be getting are coming out of here. Catching them there and falling them out and trying to hit these little spots, these jetties, Kelly Slater's wave pool that he doesn't even know about. <laughs> so we call it Slater's wave pool because it goes down this jetty. 200 ton freaking 500 foot tanker going 13 knots down. So like a sled like Slater's but the size of a town. And it just So hopefully we can get it. There's no guarantees but yep, there it is. Right through there. It's gonna be cool. Alright, here we are. About seven in the morning. We officially made it to South Carolina and we're heading down to the dock. Apparently we're gonna see some six to eight foot tanker waves today. Six to eight foot South Carolina could be different than six foot Tennessee, which could definitely be different than six foot Hawaii which may or may not be similar to six foot New Jersey. So six foot to me is about the top of my head. If we see a three foot wave today, I'm gonna lose my mind. So if we see a six foot wave, next level. This is it. Tanker surfing in South Carolina. Wish us luck. Yeah, bro, it's firing off down here, boy. We're gonna be stoked. Gosh, is this happening? I guess so. <laughs> dude, is this gonna be real, dude? What happens when this wave six to eight? I don't know. Six to eight, South Carolina. This is heavy, dude. <laughs> this is nuts. The dream is on. Woo. Oh, dude, you just all set up so easy, so casual, you know? It's all super glass, and one of those big tankers we're talking about, like, right? Slater's wave pool could be like. Look at these right stacking rights, dude. This thing's about a mega wave. Big girl, she's coming in right now. Let's see what we got. Coming in from New York, dude. From New York at nine knots, 50,629 tons, 260 meter. And we're gonna hit this point, it's gonna be coming in. We're gonna do a step off of Mr. Gravy here. We're so stoked. Holy moly, we got a big one. Dude, it's the Yang Ming. Oh my god, I think my Bronco's on the back of it. All right, so. Captain Byron here is going to just glide me right into the dream off the back of this jet ski. We're here in South Carolina. This is my first ever time tanker surfing. I've surfed multiple ferries in my life, ferry waves, and uh, apparently tanker waves are bigger. So 
This is pretty much a dream come true for me happening right now. And we got a massive boat coming in the channel. So this guy's gonna glide me onto the dream and uh, wish me luck. Here we go. This has to be one of the best ways to surf. <laughs> this is so sick. You're kidding me.
Killing it, Ben. break right now. Wyatt just got me on the wave of my life. Yeah, so, why? The master right here. Freaking these tankers, there's one coming in here and there's a bomber coming back out. So we're just going to follow this one back up the river and uh, dude, we're absolutely scoring right now. So thanks to the boys, South Carolina for having us. Stoked. We did it. We did it. Only the first Yay. day. <laughs> we're on it. Woo.
ladies and gentlemen, we made it through an entire day of tanker serving in South Carolina, except old Captain Byron's got a surprise for us at the end of the day. He said this is the biggest boat that ever came through the canal, so this thing, they're claiming eight foot South Carolina. Yeah! Woo! How do you feel? Cold. You got the bomb, dude. You went 10 seconds. I did. You won yourself a surfboard today. You stoked? Yeah. You think they got it on film? Maybe. <laughs> oh, it's a dolphin. Oh, they're coming. Are you sure it's a dolphin, not a shark? Yeah, those are before and he's dropping me off into those waves. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, buddy. Yeah, dog. 
I'm still sitting in the boat just questioning like how or why I ever hired this guy to drive this gig. He's a <laughs> maniac. He puts me underneath the lip every time I think he's gonna roll the skin. He's like, get off! He's like screaming at me, jump! And I'm like underneath the wave. So that's what you get when you hire a 13 year old ski driver, but we made it back, so. <laughs> Look at him, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made it back to the dock. I want to give everybody credit right now, so we're going to do the, the live action credits. Starting with our executive producer, Dude. Captain Byron. Look at this guy, dude. His Instagram's on the screen. Impossible mission without him. He's been talking to me about this for years. We finally brought, brought it together. Stuff, and he's claiming that it's the best he's ever seen it. So yep. moving on. Here we go. Best boy grip. This is Will, dude. Crushed it all day. What's your claim, dude? Come to all day, man. Near some adventures. It's we'll blowing up the spot. All right, here we go. This is the, one of the heaviest claims you could ever make right now. I hired a 13-year-old jet ski driver, Wyatt, stunt coordinator for the day. He almost killed me like 15 times. What's your claim, Wyatt? Why dog? He's not even psyched. Need to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. All right, moving on, dude. Look at this guy. Film team. Master and commander. What's yes, your name for the day? Drone gang. Drone gang. He loves it. <laughs> and the other one, up, Mike, man? right? That's right, my yeah. team. Killed Great it today. Stuff, man. Great stuff, These are the drone masters taking it down. Insane, Here we go. Thanks for having me. Ian. Yes, sir. I don't know what I would put. Associate producer, probably. <laughs> <with these. laughs> this guy, the clutch, dude. He started out just hanging out, and then he ended up getting the best shot of the day. The gold. Good times. And this guy, this is the master. It's Glenn. Glenn Dog. Look at him. Look at those overalls, dude. You know he's a god. We nailed it. <laughs> Tanker surfing in South Carolina, you can't do much better. I don't even know what to say. If you guys are enjoying the video, subscribe. You can leave thumbs up. You can leave comments. And uh, thank you, South Carolina. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yo. Can't leave it out. Look at this guy. What's your claim, dude? You're just uh, on a boat for 11 hours. Here. <laughs> What's your position for the vlog? Filmer for the trip. Filmer for the trip. Yeah. JT. Epic. All right. I'm coming up on 12 hours in my wetsuit, so we'll see you guys next video. Woo! Nub Nation. Thank you guys for watching another epic vlog. As always, this video was extremely epic and fun to film. However, I have to warn all the Groms who watch my videos about the severity of tanker surfing. This is a disclaimer. I went out there with four professional boat captains. Four people who have been driving those canals and those rivers their entire lives. 20 plus years of experience on those sandbars in that inlet. Tanker surfing is nothing to be messed with. The currents are serious. The hazards are serious. The rocks. The other boaters. The list goes on and on. I cannot stress enough how dangerous tanker surfing actually is. So if you're a surfer who wants to try this out, and you know where we were, please contact Native Sun Adventures if you're thinking about trying tanker surfing. Otherwise, I would not suggest heading out into that inlet. The hazards are real and something really bad could actually happen. We were lucky to make it out unscathed and catch a bunch of sick waves while we were out there. And huge thanks to Captain Byron and the crew for keeping us safe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you next vlog for the dream. Mm -hmm.